We're here at the Bridge Learning Campus to celebrate our 10th birthday. It's 10 years exactly today. Charlton Farm opened its doors to the 205 families that we support in the Bristol area. So it's a big celebration. It's great that we've come down to, to a school that supports us and have raised loads of money today. It's a wonderful school and they've done so much for us as a partnership and to bring the lads along as well. It's, a, it's an amazing opportunity. At Bristol City have now raised £75,000 as of today. I surprised the lads early in a little check prayers and it's an amazing amount of money and what a fantastic partnership that it's been between the hospice, the football club and now what is the school. Two years ago, um, each house, we run four houses here, they were asked to pick a charity. Um, one of our houses, Temple House, chose Children's Hospice Southwest, and they started fundraising within the house and that was so successful that we branched that out to be our whole school charity for this year. There's been cake sales, raffles, um, non-uniform days have all gone towards uh, raising money. Uh, we've done visits up to Charlton Farm as well, so the students are really aware of what's going on up there as well and the, the valuable cause that we're going for. The children today are really excited about having the Bristol City guys down here, them supporting it, us supporting it, all works really well together. This school's done so much work for the hospice and it's a charity that we work closely with, so to come in and spend time kicking the ball around with, with some of the students that have put effort into raising money for such a good charity, it's really fun. We can sort of affect a lot of people, whether it be sort of through social media and uh, a lot, of the, a lot of the kids here, the, the buzzing that we've come down to, to see them, and, and if we're supporting the charity, it, it does, it does maybe set something off in their brain that that is a charity that they may want to support in the future and/or now.